of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough, starting with number one. And I think, starting out, we create a new character. So let's go ahead and do that. Welcome this is an to RPG, Alliance right? Military. Yes, it is. Classified information requested. It's very much an RPG. Secure connection confirmed. This is where I believe that, um, <laughs> where, uh, Mass Effect or Bioware and RPGs really began. You know what I always did too? I always did Dave Shepard. Cause that's what I did in my game. So let's, I'm, I'm curious. We do custom Please mail. In to access your profile. I think your last name is always Shepard. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens if we do a custom. Warning. Data I might. Detected. Please reconstruct profile. I might stick with um, pre-service history. The default uh, looks. But we'll see. This game must have a lot of lore in its universe. Oh yeah. There's a uh, tons of, and and honestly, you interact with a lot of it too. You'll see. Oh, there are. It is like space to its core traveling between planets between galaxies but meeting new and old historic alien races absolutely let's see so we're uh pre-service history spacer colonists or earthborn both your parents were in the alliance military your childhood was spent on ships and stations never staying in one location for me for your it bleh. For more than a few years, you enlisted at age 18. Colonists born and raised in Mindor. Or Mindior. Dior. A small, a small border colony in the Attican. Attacan. Traverse. 16 slavers were raided it, slaughtering your family and your friends. You were saved by passing an alliance patrol and you enlisted in the military a few years later. Or Earth Earthborn. Orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolises covering Earth. You escaped for the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turn 18. Hmm. I might... I mean, we only have three options, but why is my encoding dropping like crazy right now? My, my connection just dropped out like crazy right there for a second. I don't know what just happened, but hopefully uh, everything is good here. One second. There it goes. Oh God. You're going to play Days Gone on the 17th? I haven't fully decided just yet. Um, I don't think I'll play it on release, but I definitely will play it once it's on, once it's on sale. I think that's a solid like $15, $20 game for me. Uh, so, I don't know. I could see myself go either one of these. Let's go Spacer. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological soul survivor during your service of mission. Uh, you were went on, went horribly wrong, trapped in extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stress that would have broken most people. You survived while all those people fell, and now you're alone, left to tell your tale. Or hero, found yourself facing overwhelming. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers, defeat the enemy despite despite the impossible odds. You've held fast one rule, get the job done. You've always called cold. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. We're gonna do Confirm war, war hero. Specialization. All right, so here is where kinda gets a little bit more in depth. So we have soldier is ideal. I don't think he has really any abilities other than health, and he specializes in all weapons. 
Um, engineers are tech specialists using holographic Omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Okay. Depths are biotic specialists. They have upgradable implants and they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Can only be wear weapons or wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Uh, infiltrator combined combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long, long range. That's basically the sniper class. Combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing to defend allies, though they can disrupt opponent with biotic or tech attacks. They are efficient at tech, biotics, and other classes, but at expense of combat. No specialized weapon training. And vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapon to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. I think when I originally played the game, I went Vanguard, but I think this time I'm gonna go engineer because the security systems, the repair, disrupt enemy weapons, shields, and heal your squad all sound pretty cool. Confirm so, facial identification. let me see what custom looks like. I don't know if I can get behind a custom looking shepherd. <laughs> because the default one looks so good. I don't know, man. What even, uh, oh boy, yo, gonna be busy playing this myself, but enjoy the playthrough. Playing this myself, but enjoy the playthrough. Hey, Jam Donkey, yo, thank you very much for the, uh, the resub with Prime, dude, for 25 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Also, enjoy your playthrough as well. One of the best uh, creation I've ever seen seen in a game is has to be Oblivion. I've actually never played Oblivion. I think I'm gonna go default Shepard. I don't think I can do a non-default Shepard. These look way too weird in my opinion. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I think this is DLC, which is funny. I think that's why it's like that. I have to go. I think I have to go default Shepard. Confirm facial identification. The quality is too good. We're doing Profile it. Profile reconstruction complete. Dave Shepard, spacer, war hero, and engineer. Custom Shep look better than they did in the original. They do, Confirm definitely. facial identification. I don't think I can, uh... Like, they all look a lot better. Like, this one looks okay. But classic Shep is too iconic, literally. They do look like decent though, for sure. Yo, Javuto, yo, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Custom Fem Shep looks really good in this. So I went with that to mix it up. Oh, nice. I wonder how the original looked like. Um, it looks pretty similar, but it definitely looks so much better in Profile this. Profile reconstruction complete. So I think we're gonna have to go default, like I said. I did the same thing in uh, Dragon Age. I really liked the default Dragon Age character as well, um, which I 
Bioware, Bioware, if you're somehow out there, please, please do Dragon Age next before Dragon Age 4. That would be amazing. But for now, let's go ahead and hit accept. And confirm. Identification confirmed. Uh, difficulty. Can you change it? Casual, normal. Let's let's stay normal. Auto level up, I'm gonna leave off. Level scaling. In classic mode. Wait, what's it say? In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 will be used instead of the new 1 to 30. Range, XP, and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Huh. Be used instead of the new 130 range. Remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Okay. I'm gonna do legendary mode. We'll try it like that. And then determine which abilities and talent squad members will use in combat. Defensive or all? I'm gonna have them use all of them. Subtitles on autosave enabled. Enable tur turtles. Tutorials. All right. Let's do it up. Yeah, you can change it later. Okay, good. Just in case. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't huh. question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that follow, these mysterious artifacts revealed star startling new technologies and enabled travel to the furthest stars. The basis of the incredible technologies was a force that was controlled very fabric of space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. They call it the Mass Effect. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Max Effect. Jeez! That was so fast! The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Definitely have to turn it down. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Rickerton will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate it. I'm gonna have to edit the audio quality. You remember er, to zip up the jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across that's the Seth galaxy Green. to target the size of that a plays so that's incredible. Joker. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Um call me paranoid. I, you're paranoid. Pretty sure they upgraded the, the graphics. Help fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. 
So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Whoops. I moved my mouse off the screen. Hold on one sec. Yes. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right. Weird, the stream looks so much cleaner than what I'm actually seeing on my other screen. But, let me just check. It almost looks like it's stuttering on my other screen. Let me check the settings real quick. All right, I mean, it looks pretty good so far. I guess we'll see here. All right, let's hit that. Uh, da -da -da, motion blur V-Sync, let's turn that off. 144, motion blur. Turned off. Go back. Calibration. HDR. And turn that off because I don't have an HDR monitor, anyways. The sound. I'm gonna turn the sound down a lot because everything's pretty loud right now. And I'm at like 70. I don't like that sound. That's how. That's so weird. All right, we're good. I think we're just about good. Squad, so here's your levels and everything. Uh, here's your Paragon and Renegade. I guess because I chose my path, I start out as a Paragon. Maybe we have decryption electronics at seven points in encryption. You'll get. Wait, do we have, we have three points right now. Okay. I see, I see. Seven points in encryption will give us uh, hacking. Make artificial enemies go berserk and attack each other. That's pretty cool. Electronics, uh, increase the strength of your shields, increase the amount of all destroy, or all restored when you repair the vehicle lets you use the electronic skill to repair bypass objects grants the overload ability which shuts down enemy shields nice and then we also have weapons which is pistols aha i gotta put some points in down here and charm <laughs> engineer tech specialists use innovative tricks to get the most out of every resource Reduce uh, charge time on sabotage, overlore, overload dampening, AI hacking, neural shock, and first aid by 4%. Dampening, increased shield capacity, where is hacking? AI hacking, there it is. Advanced AI hacking, master AI ha hacking. Cool. And then you can toggle your helmet, but I don't think we have one equipped yet. All right, let's go have our uh, first conversation. Well, first official conversation. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. Whoa! You're gonna give yourself an Whoa! Answer. Put the weapon away. Put it away. I didn't mean to draw it. 
Hello, away. How do you talk? I grew up on Eden Prime, dog. Okay, it's space. Oh my god. Put it away. The captain's in charge here. He would take all I don't know how to put it away. Space is the talk. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Yeah, the facial place. animations are a little funny at times. Is the truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone going to fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. I feel like a lot of like, you in the responses are like it's very generic responses. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, oh, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. <laughs> he sounds like a robot wrong, in this Joker? first conversation. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. But they're they're pretty good. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! And repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Yo, it's gone on bad. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. 
Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Um, I think Your my... Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Yeah, this game kind of came out around that time, too. I want to check if he's saying it on default. Yeah, right now, um, I have it. I, don't, I think it might be my N, my NDI and my connection, just in general. Um, they don't really give you a lot of graphics options, though. So, like, I have it on my full display. You try borderless. Dynamic shadows, film green. Actually, we can turn that off. He uh. sinks off. Frame rate cap is 144. Oh, I had, like changed it up. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Ah, so that's how you put it away. H. Is that any better at all? You know what I'm gonna try doing tomorrow? Might be any NDI. Yeah. Tomorrow, what I might try doing is seeing if I can set up my HD 60s to duplicate my current monitor onto that and use that. Um. Yeah, that's what I, I think NDI, I don't know what's going on with it, but it seems like it's like getting like harder and harder to capture things. Hold on, what the, let me try changing it. I'll give it higher priority and see if that helps. Because for a while, that really helped. But then sometimes it started breaking it. What happens if you set it to 240? Uh, that sort of is on 240 at default, but we can set on. I also gave NDI higher priority. That does look so good though. <clears throat> Yeah, there's one other thing I can try. Hold on, let me try this real quick. Just to see if it does anything. And if it's worse, then I'll just swap back to this. It's not big. And ah, what's that? I need to swap. Uh, I opened up another version of OBS and I just need to change game capture now to Mass Effect. See if that is. Oh god. Uh, I mean, it lagged for a second. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty open world. Um, so, I mean, it, yes, it's open world when you're not on, on missions. This is better. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Does it actually look better? It's still like I saw it stutter right there. I 
I've been debating on getting like an external capture card. My only fear is um My only fear is not being able to duplicate my current monitor to the capture card. Okay, huh. Maybe OBS is a little bit better. I mean, I know it's going to drop frames here and there, but one other thing I can do too is put it into full screen and see if it's any better like that. It's just the uh, NDI is there, but at the same time, it still has its faults. It works great for um, audio and webcams, though. But video games, it still struggles a little bit. Oh God. Did you just get wrecked? Rip right through his shields. Jeez. He deserves, we can't help him right. Forget about him. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. All right, Caden. Whoops. Medi gel is needed to heal injured and squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass encryption and electronic challenges. Ah, so you just run up to it and then I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Left shift Z to attack orders C to I like the like field of view is very up close. this game so much same same so good gunnery chief ashley williams of the 212 you the one in charge here sir are you wounded williams a few scrapes and burns nothing serious the others weren't so lucky oh man we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit we tried to get off a distress call, but oh, they cut yeah, off our communications. Dude, same. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We I tried to double back to the for vehicle, the remaster. But we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. All right. Press escape to go to your squad screen to spend talent points. It doesn't really tell you when you have talent points for your squad, though. 
Um, do we have enough? Oh, we do have more. Let's go to this one. All right, so we have Caden. He has two points. Bro and decryption. And then Ashley. Oh, she's a soldier. Cool. Let's do one. And ooh, overkill. Okay. Okay. I heard Andromeda didn't do as good as the previous. Yeah, it didn't, but I would say I think nowadays it's a pretty good solid game, in my opinion. How do you get in cover? Oh. Move the edge of the cover and press. There it is. I think it was okay. It got better, but it definitely wasn't the same as these. It has a very different um, feeling for certain things. I feel like it's so loud. Is it too loud? It's the only game I regret pre-ordering. Damn. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. It's fine. Maybe okay. we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky, maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Level up. It's a cool uh, level up sound. Upgrade kit? Where was that? Oh, they're right there. Heavy armor? Only thing I would boost is dialogue. Yeah, I feel like dialogue is pretty low. So we have to get to the center. Ah, oh, shoot. Got it. Aha! Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry! Thank the, the Maker. Door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the, the suit Marines is held so clean. Long for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. 
Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night I'll is do. falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Oh yeah, boys. I got my second uh, second shot, by the way. So we are uh, fully uh, set. Let me get that up. And then let's do... So we have medicine, neural shock. Organic enemy for one second inflicts 40 toxic damage. That's pretty cool. Right there. Uh, decryption. Tech explosion. I'm going to get this as high as I can so that way I can get the hacking abilities. Not not get the next one. I guess you have to be a higher level to get the next one. Let's do this. Uh, for him, we can do decryption. Let's do barrier. So I'm using the other one anyways. That's not a big deal. And then for her, let's just do as many of those as we can and shield boost. There we go. <laughs> Skin looks shiny like they put on lotion. So they basically look like the rock. With all that baby oil. Saren. Oh, this guy. Nihilus. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! have any abilities yet do I wait it says five what does that do though Um, you know him? No, I don't think you can choose species in this game. This Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing, sneaking around back there? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was you hiding can customize from those them. So. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? 
There were two Turians here, your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right. See the enemy is around the corner. Let me save real quick. <laughs> nah, I don't think you can. If I remember correctly, I don't think you you can play as um, a different race. Right, that's why I, I need to check controls. How do I heal? Equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. The filter switch item type. Um, select an item, click the equip button to sign it. Okay. Oh. Wait, was that? Lancer selected item. Oh, okay, I see. That's how that works. Where's their armor? Well, that's if you move, use mobs then, then. I feel like I haven't been shown any tutorial stuff. And it's been so long, dude. All right, let me go to Keybinds. Uh, there's all that. Quick save is F5, quick load, okay. Aim, shoot, melee, first aid is V, throw a grenade, holster weapon, previous weapon, next. Tactics is left shift. Order rally, quad made to move, order attack, switch to pistol, quick slot. Okay. Shift, aha. This is how this works. Many gel. Okay, got it, got it. Nice. Now they should automatically use some of their own abilities as well.
Nice. Headshot. Is that? Oh, there it is. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Leave no evidence that we were here. I think I still have Mass Effect uh, 2. I remember I borrowed one from one of my buddies back in the day. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. One disarmed. Go, go, go. It definitely has uh, the feeling of older video game controls. Uh, it, it, it's smoother, for sure, it's smoother, but you can kind of tell. Um, how dated it is as well. Disarming. All charges disarmed. Hey. Is it stuttering a good amount right now still? I see it stuttering, but... I'm just curious. Yeah, like right there, I saw it a second ago. Man, it's rough. 2020 still having issues trying to record games without, uh, well, I mean, then again, right now I am doing it 100% free without any type of hardware capture card. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty impressive by itself, I guess without using capture card and using two PCs. All right, let's try hacking this. Woo, got it. <laughs> Where do we go? Wait, there's another storage log? Oh, right here.
Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Sounds like Agent 47. Doctor! This Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not sure report. yet. It may... <laughs> oh, Captain yeah. Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. 
But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Roger that. Okay. So, when you get to the bridge... Is there a map? Okay, so there is a map. And when you click... Oh, that takes you to the quest. Ah, I see. Wait, so these are quest icons? Open journal. Where am I? Okay, I see. Next, <laughs> you have to tempt over the male shepherd. Male shepherd is very hey, good looking. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I love how there's I an option admit, that says you failed the mission. I was a being assigned to the Normandy. <laughs> It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> Aragon, plus two. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye, Commander. <laughs> I don't know who I did, I forget. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. I think I romance every female in it except Ashley now that I think about it. Really? Huh. 
Allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Okay. Cool. There's their requisition officer. So how do I equip? Up, I guess. down in the engineering bay oh and the news reporter whoa i didn't even know you could do that shame about jenkins commander actually I, I, at least i don't think i remember Yes, they're in three, huh? Here we go. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. How many codex options? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers on any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach, transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. 
Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the C investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Important locations are marked on the map. Press M to access it. Test one two one two. Okay, that's just testing some. Everyone's over there. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I guess the Citadel Tower. So quick. Back. We're back in. Cool. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall the, stall the council. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. My boy. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Alright. Well, before I keep the Council waiting, while I keep the Council, council waiting... Hold on one sec. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and also grab some water, probably make a drink too, and then we'll continue, so...